Hello to the group. Hope all, hope all is well. Um, doing a quick unboxing. Well, I've actually just unboxed it um, because that wasn't very exciting. I thought I'd save some time and kind of organize everything and get my thoughts across. So <clears throat> I just took delivery of the Revo Beast, uh, last year's model. I don't know how long it's been out, but I think it's been out for, I don't know, a couple years at least. I'm coming from um, a Zebco Abu Cardinal 4, purchased in 1979. And uh, a few years after that, everybody went to skirted spools. These were uh, sold to Garcia. The rights were sold to Garcia, and then Garcia started making some very similar models to the Zebco Abu, but using a skirted, skirted spool, yada, yada, yada. So this has been my mainstay for a long time, and this is the last spinning reel I've purchased. Fast forward 2023, and um, I just took delivery of this, the um, Abu Garcia uh, SP Beast Series 1000. Um, the, uh, the things that are going for this is that it's pretty much the same as the Xenon with a heavier body and a bigger um, gearing drive system. And they have since um, redesigned these and they don't make the Beast anymore. So like I said, this is last year's model. Purchased off Japan, off of... J a, a website in Japan running through Amazon for $142. And then shipping, I think it was 150 something. So pretty excited um, to see how this performs. I'm sure it's gonna perform just fine. What's really interesting is how no one is talking about this reel. Uh, very few people on the YouTubes um, are talking about the Beast series reel. And I don't know why that is. Um, we'll see. I guess I'll talk about it. I'll do some videos on it and see how it performs. The thing that's really interesting about today's new reels is that there's no anti-reverse switch like there is on um, the reels of yesteryear. And I don't quite understand what that's all about. So everything needs to rely on the drag. You can't let your... your um, your handle go in reverse to put tension on it or no tension. So that's interesting. Seems to be very smooth. Um, hopefully it is a beast. And I think it's partially salt water proofed um, from what I've read. Nice box, nothing really too fancy. Some stuff in Japanese language and some other parts that I don't know what they do. And then I got a user's a user's card. I guess I can put that in my wallet when I go traveling to Japan or something. Um, pretty excited. I'll put some line on it. I don't know if I'm gonna use a uh, casking monofilament or um, some other braid. I probably will use a six pound braid. Um, yeah, yeah, and then uh, go from there. So, took about a week and a half to get, or maybe a week. I don't know. Pretty, pretty quick. Coming from Japan, pretty quick. Excited. I guess I've said that about ten times. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Yada yada. Um, trying to get my numbers up. But uh, I'm, I'm, I like how the old old reel has the carbon fiber handle, uh, just like the Xenon and some other design cues like the Xenon. Um, and of course they've since redesigned it. So it looks different than the Xenon. Yeah, the new Revo. Okay, the Revo Beast. Um, I'll have some more on this and uh, go from there. Cheers.